I want to thank uh, the tournament organizing staff uh, led by uh, Lisa Peterson. I uh, did a fantastic job and there's so many people to mention that I, I don't think I can get them all, I won't remember them all and uh, I don't want to miss anybody's name but uh, I want to thank them all and of course our ground staff for getting the field ready, uh, tough conditions here sometimes, they do a fantastic job uh, but I think the organization and uh, everything was just first class and um, hopefully Wisconsin felt the same way and Albany and uh, also Utah Valley. Uh, I want to thank uh, Wisconsin. Um, uh, truly, uh, they're a team that's on the rise. If you look at what they've done the last few years, uh, they've made a tremendous, tremendous jump. Uh, that conference is getting tougher and tougher in the Big Ten, as we know, uh, playing Nebraska last year. And of course, Michigan's always up there. So uh, they're helping bring the level of softball up around the country. And we sure appreciate them coming out and being gracious enough with our weather delays to, uh, to not uh, be perturbed by that or, or, or be upset. So they, they understand the situation, which was great. Um, on top of that, I want to thank my team. Um, you know, they did a tremendous job. They've worked very hard this year. This is just another step, and we're really uh, excited to take the next step and uh, host again next weekend. We don't know who yet. Um, the team has uh, really been close this year, worked together hard, and I'm looking forward to the challenge of next week as well. Thank you. Well, another question. Chris and Jay, this is going to be your third Super Regionals. Do you think of this team? the most prepared out of three you've seen so far? Go ahead. <laughs> um, I think that this year has a different feel from last year. I feel like um, we're still on the rise, um, <clears throat> which is a little different from last year, which is a good feeling. Um, as far as preparedness, I think that mentally we're more prepared this year round. Um, each year we keep improving coaches, players, everyone, so yeah. So do you think that last year's loss could almost be positive in the long term? Um, <laughs> I think it was a good learning experience, if anything. Um, it was definitely one of those feelings that you don't want to feel again. So it was definitely a good experience in hindsight. But you know, in the moment, it was pretty disappointing. Mike, you said last yesterday you were asleep on the decision whether to throw uh, Chris or go back with Sherrod. What was the thought process there and your assessment of her performance today? Well, obviously it was tremendous. Um, I couldn't ask for a better performance from Carissa. Um, and she, she did what she did, does well, which is keep the ball down, worked it in and out, and used her off speed. Um, and, uh, you know, t uh, for her to throw those five shot outings, I probably could have left her out there. But, you know, when you have Sheridan on the, on the bench, we had a couple of left hand hitters coming up. I wanted to make that change. And, uh, and Sheridan struggled just a little bit. So who knows? Maybe that was the right decision to make from the start. Um, but that's good about the depth. Um, you know, obviously, uh, uh, um, uh, Jasmine Smith and Willette didn't see the field uh, t this weekend, but she's another one we have in the wings as well. But uh, they're very excited about the way Carissa pitched and um, you know, the way they can pick each other up. Carissa, given the goals of this team, the big picture, do you take, what's the level of satisfaction you take from winning regionals, if any? Um, I mean, there's definitely a high level of satisfaction, but I mean, Wisconsin's a good team and just can't take anybody lightly. And next week, we're going to try and go at Minnesota. Chris, how much confidence did you have coming into the game knowing Coach Rye was giving you the ball to start? Um, he texted me last night, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sleep on it, Coach. <laughs> no, I didn't sleep on it, man. <laughs> Spoiler alert, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was pretty nervous. Like when he first texted me, he didn't actually say I was starting. He just said, kind of said like, "Hey, what's going on?" And I knew at that moment. I knew right away. But I was pretty nervous. Janie was in the room with me. I was like, "Coach White just texted me." <laughs> That means I'm starting, but I was pretty nervous, but uh, just tried to channel my nerves a little bit and go at him. I figured if I called her, she wouldn't answer the phone. So, <laughs> you know how it is with girls, you got to text them. <laughs> Overall, were you happy with your performance? Yeah, I was definitely happy with my performance. Um, I was executing our plan, just attacking the corners, and defense had my back, so it was good. Okay, Courtney, I think hit the first pitch for a single, you come up and hit the home run. How did you guys, how do you guys keep from letting that weather delay kind of throw off the timing? How do, you, how do you stay kind of ready in the moment mentally? Well, we go to Oregon, so <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty used to it by now. But um, we we keep a high energy even during rain delays. You know, we're messing around in the dugout, but it's keeping everyone awake and involved. So I think that definitely helps uh, our team chemistry and all that. Um, but CO coming out and hitting the first pitch was definitely a set the tone. It was great. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, you guys struggled to score against Paige Stewart. 
how do you think, what was the difference, I guess, today's at bats for you guys, especially in the first inning? Well, we, we kind of had more of an idea, you know, of what she was going to come at us with. Um, I still think we could have done even a better job than we did today, but uh, we had a game plan and everybody kind of bought into it. Coach, can you pinpoint one area that's been the biggest difference for you guys this year in comparison to uh, maybe last year, I guess? Well, I think also obviously our hitting one through nine, uh, we're not always having um, you know the same person. Obviously, our top of the order this weekend was uh, unbelievable. One, two, three. They were just uh, getting on base all the time, which makes it better. But that uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, man, we have people contributing from there. And of course, Nikki Udria, the first day came through. So we're just getting different heroes, and I think that's great. The other thing is consistency with our defense. Um, obviously, we have some letdowns every now and then, but. Last year it was more of an epidemic than it was, you know, an anomaly. But uh, I think that uh, just the consistency of what we're doing, and of course the, the good pitching we're getting from our staff. Uh, so it's con just everybody's contributing. I think that's the biggest thing. Jamie, you said uh, the difference this year is you guys feel like you're you're still on the rise. I mean, you guys are the number one ranked team in the country. You just ease your way for regionals. What's, what exactly does that mean? And the fact that you guys can, do you think you guys are, can still play better from here? I mean, our um, our standard has just is just so high, which is a positive thing, and we all know what we're capable of. And until one through nine is reaching their highest potential, you know, we're always getting better. Coach, now that Super Regionals are finally here, is there any experience or lessons you've learned from last year against Nebraska that you can provide for this year? Well, hopefully that uh, you know we don't listen to talk because you know last year when Nebraska came in, everyone was saying I'm booking my tickets, I'm doing this, and I think sometimes you let all that get to you a little bit. It's hard, you know. So this year we've really focused on um, having this consistent approach right from the beginning of the season, no matter what the situation. When we got number, when we were named number one, it didn't change. Now we've got through the the regional, now we're going to the super regional. It's not going to change. Hopefully we don't listen to the outside uh, influences and we focus on the mission. Uh, and of course our mission is 8.1, to be in the final eight and in the last game standing. How do you help the girls focus on that mission and not, you know, listen to the outside sources? Well, you got to understand it's going to happen, you, you're gonna, but you just can't believe it. You've got to stay focused and do what, we, we, what we, we're, we're teaching them to do. you got to stay, uh, be professional. You know, we got to imagine being a professional and you listen to all this other stuff that goes on, you know, newscasters, you turn on the radio, they're talking about you. We've got to be the same thing here. We can't listen to that. We've got to be professional. We've got to come out and do our job. Girls, what about you? How do you stay focused on the job at hand and not start looking ahead? Um, I personally just try to take it one pitch at a time. Like sometimes I get a little ahead of myself and I speed up the game, but if I just focus one pitch at a time, then everything else will pretty much take care of itself. Yeah, just trust the, what the coaches are telling us, and if you take it one pitch at a time, it's still the same game. I just recorded that. <laughs> trust what the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Anything further?